So in this video, I'm going to discuss about F2 visa. F2 visa is a visa which allows the spouse and dependents of F1 to come to the US. And I find F2 very unique because this is one of the visas where the approval rate is very tightly linked to when you apply for the visa. I'm going to discuss this in detail so that you can maximize your chance of F2 approval. Keep on watching. So by analyzing the F2 visa interviews of the last two years and through my experience of working with clients, we have seen that F2 visa approval is highly dependent on where your spouse is in his or her F1 visa journey, which means that you really need to take into account whether your spouse is still studying, has graduated, is on OPT or on STEM OPT. And the gist of this analysis is that the approval rate improves as the spouse goes further his or her F1 visa journey which means that the approval rate is going to be the least when the spouse is still studying and keeps on increasing and is maximum when the spouse is on STEM OPT. So essentially we can say that there are two types of F2 visa interviews, one when your spouse is still studying and second when your spouse has graduated. And we're going to discuss each of this in detail because the entire interview approach, the questions are very different. So let's jump into it. So let's discuss the first scenario that is applying for a F2 visa when your spouse is still studying. Now in this scenario, the main focus of the visa officer is going to be funding. This is because on F2, you're not allowed to work, you can't earn money in the US, and F1 can only work limited number of hours, which means that the main source of funding has to be from outside of the US. So keeping this in mind, the general guidelines to follow are, number one, better to indicate a short visit rather than a long stay. So indicate a short visit of few weeks or a couple of months depending upon your profile, rather than a long stay of a year or two. This way you can reduce the financial burden. Number two, sponsorship cannot be from your spouse. Even if your spouse has savings, do not show your spouse as a sponsor because the visa officer is going to think that these savings might be required for his or her own education. So best case is to have self as a sponsorship. If self is not possible, you can look at parents or in-laws. And number three, Prepare really well for the interview because in such scenarios, we see that there's a lot of focus on the F2's profile in the interview. And the reason is that the visa officer will thoroughly check what are your professional and personal home ties to see if he can actually believe that you're going to come back to India after the short visit, which means that having proper employment track record, a considerable salary, enough number of years of work experience, plus personal ties like maybe children, parents, properties, assets, all of these are important in this scenario. And lastly, I know I already spoke about it, but just putting it here, when you apply for the visa, when your spouse is still studying, do keep in mind that the approval rates are generally lower compared to when the spouse would have graduated. So quickly summarizing, if you're applying for a F2 visa when your spouse is still studying, show it as a short visit, show sponsorship either as self or from parents or in-laws, prepare well for the interview and strengthen your own profile and keep in mind that the approval rate might not be very, very high. Now, before we move on to the next scenario, I just want to include a quick note here. Even though I am saying that the approval rate is low, there are plenty of cases where F2 visas do get approved when the spouse is still studying. And this is the case when F2's own profile is strong enough and the visa officer doesn't have to worry about them coming back. So in case you are in this situation where you're applying for the visa, your spouse is still studying, and you feel that you have a complicated profile or you have a history of previous rejections, I would suggest do reach out for a proper preparation. Right from your DS-160 form to answer structuring, mock interview, we can help out with all of this. Uh, the details of all of these services are right below in the description box. You can work one-to-one -one with me for this. In fact, we also have free resources as well to help you in your F2 visa and journey. So all the good stuff is right below in the description box. Do check it out. Now we're going to discuss the second category that means applying for a F2 visa when your spouse is working on OPT or STEM OPT. But hold on, before we move on, if you're still here, still watching the video, do give this a like and a thumbs up and comment below and let me know which category you fall in. Do you fall under category 1 or category 2? So if your spouse is working on OPT or STEM OPT and you have all the proper documentation, that means you have the offer letter, the employment verification and pay slips of at least three months, then these are the general guidelines that you can follow. Number one, you can indicate a stay. So in this scenario, you can show that you intend to stay with your spouse during the duration of their OPT or STEM OPT, which means that the length of stay can be anywhere from one to two years. Number two, the sponsorship can be your spouse. Since your spouse is working, has a salary in the US, and if the bank balance is sufficient, 
then you can show your spouse as the main sponsor and in the interview you can also indicate add-on sponsors which could be yourself or your parents and number three in such interviews the focus is on both F1 and F2. In fact, these are pretty balanced interviews, but the visa officer focuses on F1's profile as well because they want to check the authenticity of the employment, the pay slips, the track record of work, and they also focus on F2's profile to see what they were doing prior to this, what are their plans of staying in the US, what do they want to do in US, and also what will be their reasons to come back. And as I indicated earlier, the approval rate in this case is usually higher than compared to when the spouse is still studying. So these are two scenarios for you. Scenario one, applying for F2 when the spouse is still studying and scenario two, applying for F2 when the spouse has graduated and is working. And here's a quick table giving you a snapshot and the comparison of two. You can take a screenshot of this, save it, share it with your friends and family so that it helps you in planning your strategy to maximize your F2 visa chance approval. So I hope you found this video and all the information that was shared useful and we in fact regularly upload interview experiences as shots on YouTube and reels on Instagram. So do check it out and here you will get an idea of what are the actual questions being asked in the interview. If you have any more doubts, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. You can also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at shachi.mal. We're going to pause for a minute. So as I was saying, my Instagram handle is at shachi.mal. So do reach out if you need any help. And one last thing I would like to say is that I feel F2 visas are quite tricky. There are a lot of small small nuances to take care of and every small detail really matters. So do plan your preparation properly and reach out if you need any help. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we can help you in reviewing your DS-160 form, answer structuring as well as mocks. All the links is right below in the description box. You can work one to one with me for all of this. So do take a look. Signing off for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.